Hello everyone, welcome back to QC Runner for QC Runner Games, and today we are back in Hustle Castle. Um, the game is a little bit stale right now, between events, and there's not a whole lot going on, especially with this account, which, not not the strongest. I can get in the arena, and I can now usually place between, you know, I probably average 6th to 7th, so it's helping me, get a little, helping me get some trophies with my goal being getting my 25,000 trophies here, so watching my three commercials every day. So 2,100 points a week, trophies of what I'm getting a week. I'm almost up to my 25,000, which will allow me to get my next legendary. And the other slow grind that's going on, I need to watch these commercials yet, are getting my last two fighters up to 100, so that would put me up to 6 by 100. Um, right now I have 4 by 100, plus I got 93 right here for James, and then I got a 85. So once we get down, I can swap out these two 200, hopefully on the artifact, and then my goal, I, I haven't even really paid that much attention, but I'm hoping that it'll put me up to 2.5, 2.6 million, and make me slightly more competitive, not a whole lot, and maybe get me at least averaging to maybe five or six in the arena. I'm a long way from being ultra competitive at that, at that level, because I don't have enough gems, and that's what you need, so I'll have to figure out how I'm going to take that next step with this account but uh for now for today i'm um, just gonna do a little bit of a little bit of work nothing nothing too much the uh we'll start with this right here i got uh watched my my fifth ad and i have a, a chest to open i've gotten uh, a good handful of legendary items out of this so i thought i would just open our own screen here and see if see if anything good came out um chances are on the lower side but i have certainly gotten a couple so and that was hardly worth anything an 87 all right that's definitely not worth anything but all right let's go to the portal the portal closed and i i spent the uh the weekend on this account grinding again got to level 80 one more time that's uh, so the third week in a row and with this account i can very simply grind level 75 i have uh, two tanks um, let's go back to my, my team here. So I'm running with these two tanks. I have the stun, and then I also have, here we go, a Julie here who's got the self-heal and, uh, self-heal weapon and also self-heal, um, uh, armor. So those two, and I have three, I keep Leah here as the archer, and that's my one archer. And then I spent, I switched James over to a res, res mage. Plus I got another res mage, plus another res mage. So two tanks, three res mages, and then one archer. And at level 75, it's a piece of cake. And that's the one I don't have to look at. I can do that very simply. Um, and even gain power on the last, when you fight the last, the, um, the dragon at level 75, he attacks the archers in the back first. So it's a one-shot kill every single time. So my three different res mages will take turns resing the archer, and then the dragon pretty much just focuses on the the, red, um, the archer in the back, kills them. So then my tanks are just sitting there pounding away, beating up the beating up the dragon. And once you kill the dragon, the red bar goes down to zero. Another dragon spawns, and this slime does not attack the archer. So then the archer just gets in there and starts pounding away, especially Leah who is super strong. And I usually gain power every time I get to that end. So I think maybe once or twice I've seen where they you know. I think the devs have built in where occasionally you can't win just to make sure, you know, the botting accounts are out there destroying and getting everything they can just by, by bots. So, um, and once or twice, and I, I hit like, um, I really reckon one of my guys that were down. I may not need to do it, but anyway, um, I, I potentially could grind at level 76, but I know 75 is a piece of cake. So I just put it on there, let it go. And with that, I was able to get up to end the commercials. 66,000 souls this weekend. So we got another legendary coming. And this time we're looking at a ring. Um, the one thing I'm not going to do this time, which I did last time, let me... Oh, no, it's not going to work. I have uh, one more day of commercials, I thought. So I'd have 2,000 more souls I'd be able to watch. I'd get by watching the commercials, which put me up to 68. But the reset happens, let's see, two hours and nine minutes. Seriously? Is that serious? So two hours and 10 minutes would be one minute before I get to the point where I can start watching commercials again. So I guess this is it. This is the last day. Um, and I am one who um, 
obviously get carried away playing three different accounts. Um, I grinded a weekend on the portal in all three accounts, and I forgot to spend. I had legendaries on two of the accounts, and I forgot to spend it on two. All that grinding all weekend long was completely wasted. Very frustrating, so we are certainly not going to be doing that today. We're getting one legendary ring. Before we even do that, let's build a little suspense. Let's go look, see what we have. Click, click, see if there's anything in my clan I need to do. Nope. Okay. Um, any rings that we need. So we got a 99 here. Dodge and crit. Pretty good. You know, we could be a little better, but that's all right. Here's our 100. Damage, crit, and dodge. That actually is a 91. It's, not, it's actually a fairly good ring, but it's only level 91, so we could take that and put it with somebody else, hopefully get something better. Leah, magic damage, crit, and dodge. It's very good, but I think man, this needs to go to a mage, so if I could get a a good archer ring, it'd be good. And three, this is actually good for, <clears throat> for James because he's only level 93. So I am happy with that one for a very short amount of time. Here's an 85, so that's this guy's going away in soon. Here's another mage, 98. Okay, and back to here. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. This might not come in handy immediately, but you know, I'm not planning on stopping right now. I am for you know three less than three weeks away from having my six by hundred, but. To get in the full Jim Bay team, you need 12. And right now, only I'll have six 100s, uh, 193, and 385s. So I don't even have 12. I only have 10. So my goal, once I get these these guys leveled to 100, is to find my next two, just two random people who aren't serving me any purpose, especially up here. Once I'm maxed out here, I'm not doing anything with iron anymore, nothing with wood anymore. So I'll take two of these and just dump them in and let the goblin do its thing and level them up and get some strong fighters so I can at least have 12, 12 fighters instead of 10. Um, so, you know, even if this ring is not immediately useful now, it will be soon in the future. So, I have delayed long enough. Let's go in and actually find the right place and see if we're going to get anything useful. It's a lot of souls, 98... Ooh, well, the 99, not bad, damage crit, not bad, and unfortunately, only four sockets, three of which are dodge, and one is crit, and it's not the best in the world, unfortunately, we'll uh, do a little compare here on damage, um, I've actually got a couple blue, blue gems I could throw in there, I could put those all three of those in there um i am seriously lacking on crit i do not have very many crits at all um even my uncommons are running down so i'm down to the the commons so i certainly need a lot more crit gems uh yeah that's slightly disappointing but we'll uh we'll, we'll see if that can be useful at the moment so i still have sixteen thousand more souls to spend Nothing here. We're not going to buy any rares. That would be silly. We're certainly not going to buy... Even if I had enough money or souls, I would not buy that. Because we're pretty much legendary or nothing. Nothing to buy here, nothing here. So, here is the question. Do we buy two purple shards? Or do we buy 100 diamonds plus 20, 30? 130 diamonds or two purple shards? That is the question. Let's go take a look at our totals here. We currently have four, 14 purple. On. We got a we got a legendary build, so I got enough for one more legendary to build. Um, and that's it. Not counting obviously all this nonsense. I got a ridiculous amount of epics I need to take apart, and I'll start building more legendaries with those. Um, <laughs> Obviously, I have 12,000 gems on this account already, or diamonds on this account already. The diamonds are not being used a lot, other than keeping the goblin going. And if an event comes along. This account, I am actually waiting. I'm not spending any money on this account until I can get the three months of no spending. And that should hopefully give me the uh, 22,000 diamonds for $10. That's what I'm very much looking for. Um... But I looked today, and I'm still uh, 
I didn't realize this, but about a month ago, I bought, uh, I did my last purchase, and that is why I happen, happen to have 12,000 gems at the moment, or diamonds at the moment. Um, and I haven't really spent those. I'm kind of waiting for, I, I did spend a little bit on the spins for the last event, but some of the events you can actually spend a fair amount of diamonds. So I'm going to keep those, so then, I don't know, purple, the purple shards are so good here. Because then you can build something more specific that you need. But that would only be enough for two. 20% of a legendary or 130 diamonds. Given what I have, I'm going for the purple. So one, two. And we'll get two greens. And then we'll get two grays. Boom. Done. All right. We spent everything, so we're not wasting it on this account. Um, so one other thing we'll do before we call this, uh, a short session. It's short, and this is, like, longer than what I expect when I say it's going to be short. It ends up being, like, 20, 30 minutes. Because I'm not very good at, uh, getting my point across quickly. Uh, what we're going to do is check this 99 and compare it to some of the things we got here. So a new ring. Pure damage. Whew, look at that. Ooh. We'll go to look at this guy in our room. Let's look on our archer first. Okay, right here. Mm hmm. 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 This could be good, but we're missing all that crit, all that crit. But having that huge damage boost, an extra seven hundred damage plus crit is dropping two hundred plus a minute. Not plus, plus negative. So minus, so I'll be a minus 200 minus the 1200. So that's a minus 1400 crit. Huge. The dodge is a minus 300, but I'll add the three in there. So the dodge might actually come up. The damage is going to come up. Actually, the damage is up 1300 because this is magic damage. Let's, let's take a, let's take a really quick look here. So we have damage at 12.4 and crit at 71. We'll swap it out. Look at that. Damage at 14.2 for Leah. That actually might... We're losing the crit, but she's not dropping crit tons all the time anyway. That might be worth it for the time being until I get something a little bit more useful. Hmm. You know what? I think we might do that. Let's go, uh, let's go Leah. We're missing that. I'm missing the blue gems here, which hurts. So we're gonna inlay, we're gonna go to necklaces, not necklaces, but whatever. There we go, this is a new one, make sure this is Leah's. Yep. All right, so I have some blues that I haven't been using, I've been trying to find a place for them. Ooh, I had two maxed out ones. Ooh, wait, no, that's not maxed out, I'm an idiot. Never mind. take that back. I thought I had a bunch, but I only have a bunch of armors. So we have use, use. We do have a max up crit. Should I put that here? Maybe. Might be good. Let's go to a dodge uncommon. Use. So, I will end up with a 688 dodge and a 177 crit. Let's do I mean, it's only cost a few diamonds to take them out, so let's put them in. Not bad. That damage, that damage might be quite helpful. So we are at a two, three, six, eight, which is interesting. I thought it was at two, three, seven, one. Okay, two, three, six, eight, and let's go look at Leah here, and we'll see if I actually wanted to consider. I could actually take. Oh, I spent. I'm an idiot. Oh, huh. I am an idiot. That's. This is where we were. That's why I'm an idiot, because I already had that guy here. I forgot that I switched it out. So this is what we had. We have one blue dodge, plus we have the blue crits here, which I could take out and dump into the other one. If I decide I want to keep this. If I did that, dodge would go up. Crit would go up. Crit is down so much, though. So four four eighty four with the old ring, which is a nine nine. The new ring puts us at four seventy nine, so we lose five thousand. Mm. 
a damage per second up significantly. 14.2 versus 12.4. 1800. I'm going to have to test it out. I will test it out, and if I stick with it, then I might have to go in and uh, swap out those blues. We'll keep, we'll keep the other blues here right for the time being in uh, in the Soul Master. So we're going to swap out. Unfortunately, it's going to lower numbers, but... Four seventy nine damage per second up significantly, but crit down. The crit doesn't trigger super often, so I'm just wondering if that extra eighteen hundred DPS is enough to make this change worth it. We'll do some testing. I can't really do that right at the moment, so um, what can we quickly do? We can. Can we level anybody up here? I mean, build some spells? No, maxed out. Okay. Uh, one of the things I was going to do is fight somebody because I saw I had. Where did they go? There was a big one here to get almost 500,000 in gold, which I need that for all my gems. Looks like I lost that shit. I didn't do it. I was trying to. Oh, there it is right there. 1260 power versus my 2300 power. And I get 500,000 almost gold. I will take it. Unfortunately, without the premium, this is a very slow grind, but since I'm so much more powerful, it'll be pretty quick. We can at least spot check. It's not a very fair because it's going to be so quick, but we can spot check and see what kind of damage that Leah's doing with her uh, extra ring here. Just going to knock that out pretty quick. All right, let's go see what Leah did. The whole team was hardly even scratched. So Evan, of course, on these nine dodges, two crits, very nice. When you're that much more powerful, you just overwhelm everybody. Even my mages are getting crits, two crits. James got three, did 112 and 30. Got four crits from Julie, and there we go, down to Leah. Leah did nothing. That's interesting. Three crits and three kills, but... Right, well, this is not, you know, the most valid test, but not the exciting numbers I was looking for. But what will be good is if I get this other, once I get a good legendary item, I'll we'll have enough arena badges. It'll give me the one, two, three, four legendary artifacts. It'll give me one more. And which will also be exciting is I will be a full legendary team, because right now I still have Tom in there with some pretty useless stuff with a, an epic and a rare. Just because, stupidly, I got rid of a lot of my lower-level items earlier. So that's why I don't delete anything anymore, because I... One, I'm taking a couple people that aren't even fighters, so they're super low-level. Um, once I get them up to 85-plus, whatever, then I'll start deleting all the, the really low-level ones. Um, hey, that's funny. Look, I just fought the... I'm QC runner, and I just fought the only QC. Well, that's funny. <laughs> I'm sure everybody else noticed that before I did, but... Chewie's the only QC. No, he's not, but his his uh, his team is. That is quite funny. Um, even funnier is I was one of my clan wars I was doing. I had to do a head to head battle with uh, some guy called QC Killer. So that's uh, <laughs> I guess I'm I'm known in the world. Somebody's out to get me. Okay, that was um, that, that's all I was going to cover today. I just wanted to do the. Uh, the spin here, the the commercial spin, and hopefully I get a good one, which I didn't. And we also wanted to spin here, which we got potentially useful, right? I'm going to do some testing and see how the numbers go, but it's not fantastic, but it's potentially better than what I had. Certainly something that will be used in the future. Maybe not end game, but as we start to try to get to the end game. All right. With that said, I will end it. Um, I'm going to start trying to make this probably more of a normal, but um, trying to build this channel. I'm going to try to add some more useful content, try to make things a little bit more official over time. I don't have a lot of spare time, but I'm trying to book some things in here and there. I uh, played around with a new logo, added a new logo to the channel, and I'm going to start trying to organize things a little bit better. And at some point, we'll start to make the videos a little more, um, not professional, but 
like a lot of the other YouTubers where the the icon for the or the image for the video is specific, maybe put text and that kind of stuff. But that's that's some editing things I need to be able to get. I need to get some software things like that to get that set up. Um, but as I start preparing for that, um, getting an audience and getting people to start following and subscribing is key to getting the channel going. So. If this is interesting, if something you want to start following, then uh, feel free to uh, drop a like, leave a comment, and if it's something you want to be aware of when I post, I will be posting Hustle Castle, Idle Heroes, and probably some other games, and might even look for a couple others that I haven't even started yet, so they will be from the beginning, rather than these accounts, which I'm starting in mid to, mid to late for a lot of the games I'm playing. So um, if it's something that you're interested in, feel, feel free to uh, click that subscribe button, that way you'll be notified when things are posted. And um, I will see you in the next one. Bye.